Good day guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to the 100th video of this channel. So to celebrate that, I'm going to be showing you guys everything I own with Dodge on it. Not including all the hot wheels those uh, have their own videos. Well, I have some new ones, but those are also going to get the separate video. So, yeah, if you didn't know, I'm a fan of Dodge. A big fan, especially of Charger and the other cars. So, today I'm going to show you everything I have of those. So, every Charger I have, every shirt, cl yeah, clothing item, model cars, other knockoff Hot Wheels cars, so I say magnets and stuff and then um, shells like that one that's a shell of uh, one of the chargers i own like if you've seen one of the rc videos i have like when i <laughs> take apart that car and uh, what's it called uh, clean up one of the wheels <laughs> it's all filmed in a really awkward way so yeah and, uh, let's Open a can of Bang Energy. And uh, let's do this. Not sponsored by Bang, by the way. Yeah, so let's get into the first things. So, first up, I have this sweater of a 1968 or 70 charger with the charger on top of it and Hemi 426 on it. So this is the first sweat I got with the arch on it, and it's one of my favorites. And those are, these are in a specific order that I got them, so there's the random. Then I got this thinner, yeah, sweater. And as you can see, it has Dodge over, all over it. <laughs> like on the side, like this. All over the, uh, the sleeve and this whole side, and the, the back side is also all over Dodge. Like, there's darts over there, and it's just <laughs> much. That thing had strings in, uh, in the hoodie, but I took them out of there because they're really annoying and long. And put them on the rifle, to focus. And I love that rifle. That in collection of bang. Then, we can get to this shirt. Also, it's the same as the hoodie. The charger and the Hemi 426 on it. Usually, I wear that sweater and this shirt at the same time so it's a bit <laughs> I like that and then we get to this gray shirt also with a charger on it is a bit hard to see it's uh, a charger from the side and it's one of my favorite but I got these I don't know how I got those spots on there maybe like some uh, cleaning material and uh, I don't know how to get rid of it so I'm usually I color those in then we got this Red shirt with Charger Evolution, so it goes like from first Charger all the way to the 2015 Charger, and it says Charger Evolution in the, on the, the bottom. And then we have this. So this shirt it says Dodge Charger underneath it with Hemi Power. Uh, what does it say? Yeah, V8 Magnum trademark. It's one of my favorites. It's really cool. And it's the only one that, uh, that's supercharged. And then over here we are on my television. I have the old shell of my 1970s charger. I want to make an, or buy another car body for this. So it could drive again. Because this is one of my favorite bodies. I got the supercharger off it and make a chain off it. Uh, I'll show you in a moment. But yeah, it's a bit damaged but... I don't want to get rid of it because it's. Uh, <laughs> I don't really like it. So it stays up here. Just like this. Why not in front? Well, it's because I got a lot of caps. Yes. That's a custom Bang Energy cap. I want to fill it all with little Bang logos. So I got some other ones. Yeah. And this is the chain I was talking about. So I got the supercharger off of it. And uh, put it on my chain. I really like it. Sometimes I wear this to school or something. And uh, just simple. I really like it. It's criminal. I just put some Lego inside here to keep it <laughs> together. <laughs> just like that. And while we're at my closet, I got this. 
big Lego charger, you may have seen it before. And it has some electronics in it. So I'm gonna get it out of my uh, closet and uh, put it on my uh, desk so I can show you. Alright, now it's on my bureau, I can uh, show you guys a bit better. So this is the Lego Technic 1970 Fast Fuse Charger. But I modified it a bit. Because the electronics of that charger are in here. So I wanted to focus please. I wanted to make this thing RC, but without buying just a really expensive Lego steering motor. Because those get really expensive. So what I did, I put uh, the electronics, I got, got it out of the RC charger and put it in here. And just put a motor onto the motor. So from the back window, if I can get it, you can turn the charger on. God damn it. Um, let's try from the other end. If you can get in there. One sec. Alright, I got it working. So, you see the light uh, blinking. And then I just need to turn on the controller. Let them connect. And I put a rubber band onto the stick so it stays like running. And then, uh, then the V8 goes uh, running. I also put this one here. It uh, runs really smoothly, so how it works, I put some gears in there, and put the motor against it, and now it, uh, it runs, it's really, uh, <laughs> really funny. So, and because this has a boost function, it can rev. I really like that. But uh, can I turn it off again? Got uh, it makes a lot more sense. Can be a bit annoying. So, well, inside I can leave it on because it's a bit of a pain to get it off. So yeah, now I'm gonna be putting this back into the closet and get some model cars. So, see you then. All right, I got my phone in another tripod and uh, let's begin with uh, this charger. So you already can see it's a Fast and Furious 70 charger. I got this uh, uh, at one of my favorite stores to also get Hot Wheels at Fish Toys. I just couldn't uh, resist getting it, you know. It's a really nice car. I did open it once to look at the car itself. So it's already opened. If I can get it out again. So I'm going to show you guys. I get out of it. Why are these always a pain to get out? Put it over there. Here it is. I really like it. The doors can open. And I just really like it. It has nice details on it. And yeah, it's a really nice car. And also, Fast and Furious is how I fell in love with the Dodge and the Charger, so. Well, to kind of be explained that in another video why I like that so much, much and why Charger is my favorite car. Let's gonna get his own video with uh, uh, Forza Horizon uh, on the background. Oh shit, what am I doing? What am I doing on my computer? No, get all away, please. That's better. So next up is is not package one. I got this at the uh, yeah at <laughs> the market. So this is a I think two thousand six I think charger, and I got this like at a uh, it's a second hand. So yeah, but for that it's in really good state. I really like it, and this one also has the uh, the big uh, backlights. I really fucking like that. That's one of the things I like about the modern chargers, the big backlights. And um, also about the 2008 Challengers. Those have the, the massive backlights, I really like that. But yeah, I also really like that it, this is the same uh, as that one, but I'm not here, and in purple. So, both doors can open, only in the uh, front two, not the back two. Those are the uh, more two there. And uh, this one rolls really freely, so yeah. I might be asking why I'm not using my car piston. 
because these are a bit bigger and that piston is only useful for the hot wheels so speaking of which i'm gonna be putting these back now and i'm gonna get the uh, the other 164th scale cars i have yeah same scales hot wheels but from another uh brand all right the car piston is in place and uh, so let's start it with this this is a uh, viper from let's see i have a card over here uh, th this one came with the card <laughs> i forgot to get those uh, here's the card with the brand on it i'm not gonna try to pronounce that because uh, i'm dyslectic so yeah that's this card uh, with it i found it also at visit toys yeah but uh let me point it out a bit the camera my phone actually but yeah i really like it it's uh, a bit more de detailed i actually than the hot wheels because those are uh clear the uh, headlights and the wheels and i just love those wheels I don't uh the only thing I'm missing on this charger is the huge charger, I mean Viper, is a huge spoiler they usually uh, come with, like uh, the Viper ACR, that uh, this one has the massive spoiler on, on the back, I really love that. But back to this Viper, I really like how they uh, painted the, the tail lights and the uh, version lights on this one, it's really nice. And these, these doors can open on both sides they aren't really the smoothest but yeah they'll open they're nice i like that and interior is not really too much special not much different from hot wheels but yeah let's close it and let's get to the, the next car so the next one is a bit of a powerful car it's a challenger hellcat i almost said beam but it's a hellcat so, also it uh, came with a card. I uh, really like the concept art on these, and you get stats, you know. It's and that's nice. So yeah, it's from the same company as the Viper. So, and I'm just seeing that those are premiums. All right. But yeah, those really have anything special to say. Just like the uh, Viper, I really like it. Like I did uh, the headlights and stuff, the wheels. With these wheels, they actually put the uh, names of the companies on it. I really like that. Doors can also open on this one. It's a bit, these are a bit stiff. Uh, they can open. It's <laughs> really nice. And like I said, they uh, painted the, uh, the side lights. And there's a Hellcat logo in there. As you can see that. As you can see it, that's a Hellcat logo over there. It's really nice. Yeah, yo, I think you guys will believe me. There's a you know, Hellcat logo over here. So, yeah, I also like how they uh, painted the backlights again. And then Dodge on it. It's really nice. And, uh, yeah, it's one of the favorites. And then I got, uh, I got two chargers that I got double. But uh, these are from some uh, lines with a surprise, so to say. It's the surprise car, you get some upgrades by it. So I have one with upgrade and one without it. Yeah. It's coffee simple from Bang, so yeah. And that's this charger. This is the actually 1969 Dodge charger. I like uh, the orange of it, and it's a common car, I think. That's with. Uh, these that come in those, uh, uh, I don't know how, how, do you, how you call these uh, in English, but in uh, like almost round packaging with, uh, with a plastic container on it and the car in the middle. And you get these uh, things uh, with it. So there's a re really like what's it called? A uh, ranking. It calls like one, like common stuff. So this is a common charger and I have two of them, but the one of the rare chargers are uh, in purple, so I hope to one day find a purple charger 
as you guys know me I really like purple and uh, if I get a, another orange charger I'm gonna be painting that one into a custom like getting all the orange paint off it and black on the maybe I'm gonna leave this and send it lightly but I want to put flames on the scale of this size but uh, back to the car <laughs> I really like it don't fall please and because it uh, can be upgraded the hood can be opened so yeah opened taken off actually doors can be opened on this one and you get a bit interior uh, I can also see the, the light I like, <laughs> like how to put charger on one side it's really nice it's one of my favorite off brand cars let's put hood back on and yeah it's really nice it's bright orange and the stripe I like that I, the only thing I don't like about this car is how they put the smiley face on there. Why didn't they make that a sticker? And then also the tail lights with the RT on it. It's really nice. This is also really good quality for a surprise car. Um, just like surprise bags, so to say. But yeah. And then you get parts with it. For, you get uh, a upgraded engine, a spoiler and some... Uh, Exhausts. So and then you can make this. It's a bit of a dragster, so to say. It's also shown uh, like this on the car or the plate, like this. So yeah, not really the biggest fan of this. It makes it too much like an Hatrix car, and I want to keep these separate from the cars. But uh, other than that, it's really nice. <laughs> like uh, the the engine, it sticks out really. And I don't know how much you need to lift the engine to get your bloody head gas kits uh, to pop out. But, yeah, it's not my design choice, so yeah. And the exhaust on the back, I, I actually really like that. It's a nice detail. And then, big spoiler, uh, big is also not, why is this? Why is this crooked? Let's see if I can fix that. Oh, yeah, and they just snap in place like that. Just like that, you snap them in place. That's better. So you can all remove it. Like that, and then you can have a normal charger again. So. If it wants to get it. Yes, there it is. So display this one like this, and uh, yeah. So that's the knockoff cars, and now I have some Lego cars. But they, those are a bit bigger, so I'm gonna be doing those also a bit different. So those were the small scale cars. And uh, this is how I film a setup. I just sit at my uh, chair, just like that. That's enough because that's my work overalls. And I just sit here with my uh, arms and I just work this around. <laughs> but uh, first up, we're gonna get in. To the Legos, then I can show you my computer. So first up, I got the Speed Champions Charger from the Drag Race set. It came with the other car, but uh, I'll show you that in a bit. I like it how they put it. It's uh, based on the eighty and the sixty-eight Charger. If I look at it, or this uh, ninety-six, ninety-sixty-nine. But uh, it's really a nice car. I got, this was the first one I got from Lego. Well, after Spider-Man Charger. Then it goes right, 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 right into my own thing. Then I have the 1970s Charger from Fast and Furious. One of the newer sets. And it's really nice. I really like it. I like how they did the... Let's get those control out of the way. I really like how they did the supercharger with all the studs. This one also came with a supercharger. But uh, I like it more without it. And you put it over here. You just push it and then you could put the supercharger over there, but I don't like how it looks. But yeah, this supercharger is really focused, really nice. I really like how they do it, did it with all the studs and the uh, rims. And this is a white boy. It's a really white boy. I get a Vin Diesel uh, uh, figure with it. I'm still <laughs> not used to a Lego figure with skin color. <laughs> this is the first one I have. 
there, there's one thing I don't like about this uh, charger. It's how loose the roof is. It's not attached to anything. That's just too loose for my taste, you know. It's just no. This one is just showing two studs that keep it in place. So that's in my opinion a lot better than what that's supposed to be. But one other thing I really like about this is at the back the tail lights. Look at that. How they did that. Focus. So they uh, put some stripes on the top of those uh, clear pieces and then then on one by ones, pardon me, at the, the bottom, <laughs> and it's a, it's a really cool effect. But I only have one extra of those parts, and I want, really want to put them on that, this charger. I'm not going to talk much about this charger, because I already showed it. That's one of my favorite customs. And then, we go to the last Lego corner, got the hang out of the way. A demon. So, it's really fucking low, and it's... Really square, it's not my favorite, but I really like it. I like the custom figure with it. And it also has a demon logo on the side of it. It's really blocky for a demon, I think. Challenger got Challenger more rounded. Yeah, I like how they did it. But it's really, really low to the ground. So it can't drive over stealth, so like these are. And those are some randoms. I really not talk about that Ferrari. I don't want to cut for my sister and that one I bought in uh, for myself on the Lamborghini. But then I had a poster of one of these. <laughs> so I thought it would be fun to get one. And then over here, this is also new. I got this board for the packaged uh, cars. And that's a new Dodge 77 van from the Warner Brothers series. Those are <laughs> the newest and the newest, I think. Well, here in the Netherlands, so I just found them. And just today I got uh, the rest of the set. Like first I bought the the uh, van and the mystery machine. But today I got the rest of the set because I really wanted to all of them. As for the Forza Horizons, I waited too long and did not get the full set. But now I have the full set. So that's really uh, nice. And then for what I said with the computer, I got the background, just uh, put it on there. With my favorite charger of Forza Horizon 4, Jesus, what the fuck is going on with my phone screen? But yeah, I really like this charger. It's the first one I got, and I always I'm down to drive with it. It's not the fast, it's it just maxes out at just under 300, but that's my me, it's my cruising car. So and then I got one of the last things over here is a board. Of a 68 charger. I found this at a. I think a. No, uh, just a random store, and I thought. I need this. It's a really nice board. It only cost me 17 uh, euros, but it's worth it. It's a really nice board. Let me uh, get it on the light a bit. Put it over here. Just look at that. It's really nice. But yeah. Oh, and then also, uh, I got these yesterday. <laughs> Custom uh, made uh, this got nightstand. I used it as a nightstand, but uh, I just got these yesterday when I was done with my intern internship at a car car dealer in port. It's very nice. I got all of these magnets. Uh, <laughs> those are all from Darch. And uh, from some cars, I didn't even know they made them. Like do, these two already know about it, those are Daytonas. But what the hell are, is this? And that one. I did not know those existed. But yeah. And I got a lot more. There's all kinds of focus. All kinds of things in it. Mustang, Chevy. And all of it. I think they just got all of the American cars all of it and uh, gave them to me. Because I said multiple times I am. Uh, I'm a big fan of American cars and Dodge in general. Just like this. It's a uh, 68 Charger. Or 70, I can't see. can't judge with the uh, tail light, but I think it's a uh, 68. So yeah, it's very nice. It, those are just magnets, and this whole thing is magnetic. And I build it myself. Just like this. I build it myself. 
this inside I built all by myself. But I'm gonna show you if you want to in another video. And then I also got this <laughs> Mopar. Just from a cardboard box at my inner ship. Got it. And there's Dodge and Ram on it and STR. So yeah. That's I think all of everything I have except for the pardon me. The uh, RC, uh, RC is also not really anymore. But I mean virtual. Uh, Forza Horizon 4 and 5, I've bought everything I've from Dodge. And on Horizon 4, I have every car, well, yeah, like every, every car. And I bought uh, my fifth charger not too long ago. So those are a lot, but my father is gaming at the moment. And all my Forza Horizon shit is on his account. So I can't show you guys that, but maybe in another video, I'm gonna show you. So. That's why I showed you that charger for my computer that I found, so yeah. So that's all of it, I think, that I own at the moment. Yeah, I hope I got more Hot Wheels, you know. Like, uh, I had to do uh, put away a lot of my Hot Wheels cars a few years ago, I think. Because my mother told me I'm too old for that. Well, I got a lot more right now. But I think I put away some challenge and challenger, a purple one with a supercharger on it. It wasn't the smoothest runner, but those were really old those. And some of these are really old also. But I think that's all of it. So I'm gonna uh, stop the video here. I uh, thank you guys for watching, and also. Staying. If you watched all the 100 videos at this moment, thank you for that. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one.